Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks, and in today's lesson, I'm going to respond to one of my music industry colleagues who sent me a frantic email. He said, Danny, I'm an experienced Excel user, and I've been using VLOOKUP for quite some time. However, I'm getting these ugly NA error messages. Can you help me? I said, sure. Send me a copy of your data and let me take a look at it. So over here is the data that came from my colleague's uh, mainframe computer, his company's mainframe computer. And of course, I've greatly simplified it for purposes of this lesson. What he wants to do is he wants to use VLOOKUP to get the name of the product for a match for this product ID. So let's take a look over here and see if he has indeed set up the uh, VLOOKUP function correctly. So I'm going to click on the FX button to open up the function arguments dialog box. He's using VLOOKUP because he wants to get the product name by looking for an exact match for the product ID. He wants to find an exact match for the product ID in the leftmost column of this table array. Now, the table array, of course, is the information that has been downloaded from his company's mainframe computer. Notice that I'm using an absolute cell reference, putting dollar signs in front of the column letters and dollar signs in front of the row numbers because I'm intending to copy the lookup down and across, and I want this to always remain frozen as an absolute reference. So when he finds a match for the product ID in the leftmost column of the table array, what information does he want to retrieve by using VLOOKUP? In this case, he wants to get the product name, which is in the second column. That's why the column index is number two. And he wants an exact match. He indicates that by putting in false for the optional fourth argument. And that, again, is true. So, I mean, is, is that he's, he's done this correctly. So let's close this out. The reason that NA errors appear for VLOOKUP is that it can't find that value in the table array. So either you're looking in the wrong column or there's a problem with the match. Now, my first clue for solving this is taking a look. We're working with fixed width data. Now, frequently with a mainframe computer, rather than using a space or a comma or a tab to delimit the fields with fixed width data, they've got a specific number of characters set up. So we can test this out by using the LEN function. LEN is short for length. So here's how this works. Equals LEN tab. And I want to get the length, in other words, the number of characters that is in cell A5. So the number of characters is 12. Well, I take a look over here. I can only see seven visible characters. So that leads me to suspect that we have padding at the end. So in other words, we have seven visible characters and then five spaces to pad out to make it a fixed width of 12 characters. And sure enough, when I copy that down, we have 12. If I use the LEN function over here, where my friend has set up his uh, lookup values or his lookup table, what we see is seven. And again, we see seven for all of these visible characters. So the reason we have an A error message is that we're looking for a match in the leftmost column that is seven characters. Well, it's finding 12. That's a completely different value. So how do we change that? We change that by using the trim function. The trim function is just like going to the barber. Equals trim, and let's uh, bring up the function arguments dialog box, this time with control A. So it will remove all spaces from a text string except for a single space between words. That's exactly what we want. Click OK. All right. Now, oh, I didn't put a cell reference in there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's edit it up here. I want to make uh, this the cell reference. Control Enter. So now if I do the LEN function for over here, let's just change this to be equals LEN and make a reference over here for the value that we trimmed. Yes, it comes up for seven. So now we can get the information. What we need to do, of course, is use one more technique. What we need to do is we need, after we have trimmed those values is to make a copy 
control C after I make a selection come over here and we want to use paste special now in Excel 2007 we have live preview of paste special so in this case we want to paste the values in other words the result of the formula and now you see how the VLOOKUP is returning the correct values so these are essential skills in Excel, which is why I put together a four hour video training resource, the nine essential skills for Excel. I make it available for Excel 2010 as well as for Excel 2007, either as a DVD or a downloadable product. The package comes with a 29 page step by step instructional guide as well as the actual Excel workbooks that I used while filming the lesson. So take a look at my online shopping center for more information and I'll look for you in the next lesson.